Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And today, we're kind of doing a discussion, my thoughts, first impressions on the new season of Diablo 4. Now, I've just finished streaming, took a little bit of a break for about half an hour. Clear my head, I guess, try and process my thoughts on this season and give you a first impressions. Now, I've only been really playing the new season for two hours, so, you know, take everything I say with a pinch of salt. But, I think you know, gauging something for two hours is probably a good indication whether or not I want to invest further time into it. Usually you, you might play a game, you, you might play a game or a demo that only lasts half an hour and kind of get an idea whether you want to play a game or not. I don't have hundreds of spare hours to invest in a game and it gets good after 50 hours, so I'm not going to do the same for Diablo. Now, I'm not going to... Now, I didn't really cover the patch that released a couple of days ago, um, but my thoughts on it are, holy sh are you kidding me? <laughs> You're weaker, enemies stronger, you don't level up as fast, have fun. Now, I haven't reached level 100 on this character, I kind of stopped playing for a, a long while. Uh, I did everything I wanted to do, I got to like level 75 and I was sort of just getting bored of the game. It became very repetitive seeing the same bosses over again, the same dungeons over and over again, same layouts, same assets. It needed some priority, so I was kind of waiting for season one, see what they would do, see what new features they would introduce, see the new mechanic for this season, and hopefully give it some life. And then they dropped the patch notes where everything's weaker, so now I definitely know I'm never really going to level up my Necromancer to a level 100, it's going to take too long. And you know what? You're not allowed a second character because power levering has been massively nerfed, so that, yeah, have fun with that. And it was quite nice having a second character and having your friends power lever it to level 50 in like a matter of hours. Guess that's gone now. Anyway, talk about the season. Start off with the battle pass. It's a bunch of cosmetic, co it's a bunch of cosmetics and some premium currencies. Final cosmetics look fine. The first cosmetic you get is a red jumper. So that's that subtle Star Trek reference there. And yeah, I can't really say I hate the battle pass, but I can't really say I'm over in love with the battle pass. The cosmetics are okay. They don't really stand out. I mean, if you told me I spent 10 bucks on them or 20 bucks or however much it is to buy the battle pass, I'll be like, no, I'm not going to buy the Battle Pass. The fact that I got it for free... I, I don't think it does enough. I mean, I, I, I could have just not used, spent my coin on this Battle Pass, I don't think. I think you can, you can choose which Battle Pass you want to get. And the fact that I spent it on this one, I, I kind of like... Yeah, I, I don't feel great about it. Yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with the cosmetics, but it it's just so okay that I, I can't hate it and I can't love it. Um, and there's a, a whole bunch of battle pass stuff where, like, majority of it you're just you're just not gonna care about. Like, like, look at this cosmetic for the sword. It looks like a standard sword. I'm never gonna use the cosmetic. Uh, there is a new uh, death, um, anima uh, not death animation, death sigil ghost form you can get, which is based on this season. But apart from that, like most of it is just okay, cool, whatever. Uh, this season's mechanic of killing an elite and then killing it again to drop a it, special it gem. Now, yep, uh, they are, the whole thing is revolved around these specialized gems that give you new abilities. They're basically like the affix on your weapons, but you can put them in gem sockets now. I haven't seen enough to know how good they are, but I feel like they're just gonna be, you know, you're gonna have a build and you're not really gonna build around these new abilities. As say, you're gonna build around what abilities and builds you already have, and you're just gonna use the ones that benefit them the most. At the moment, I'm using a rogue, focusing on poison, and every time I lay down a poison trap, this uh, heart I've got, has a, a shadow clone of me that taunts enemies. By taunts enemies, he, it just stands there and the enemies are more drawn to my trap, which means most of the time the trap's gonna get triggered. 
most of the time gets to, the trap gets triggered anyway without it, but you know, hey ho. And there's some stuff where if I do a critical hit, it does some like lightning damage. There's some barrier regeneration I saw, but overall it's 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 nice, I guess, but it's not like oh my god, I gotta I gotta play this season. I uh, it's I just I need to get my characters up to a decent level. I gotta get on World Tier Four and try this stuff out. No, it's sort of like oh, okay. Yeah, cool, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, the dungeon, well, I haven't seen the new, well, the new dungeons, the tunnels, as they're called. Um, yeah, you, you you just go around, fight an enemy, and you find these ones that you have to fight them twice, twice because they, like, drop a corrupted core heart, and then it just creates a new enemy with the same, if it's in a... a it's always an elite, but whatever the base elite enemy had, it will do the same as the second elite. They're pretty easy to kill in World Tier 1. And then uh, there's this bonus bit where there's like a massive core of it, and you have to use one of these staffs. Uh, you can create the staffs, you can find them dropped. Um, you use the hearts as ma you break them down as materials, and then you create a staff, and then you go in, and the staff are all color coded. Uh, if you don't have that staff card, I guess what you can't, you can't. Fin well, you can finish the dungeon, but you don't get the bonus heart, which all it does is just create another boss, and you beat that, and then it just drops another heart. So it's sort of like, hey, you, you, you want more hearts? Uh, they mainly spawn in tunnels. Well, the the only way these new elites happen are in tunnels, and sometimes in cellars. I've I've seen most of the other time regular dungeons, you're not going to see them. Uh, the new season progression, uh, you have like different tiers, and you have different quests to do them. They're all the same for every single person. Uh, the, the tier, the quest lines carry on, like for example, what, on the tier 1 you have to uh, clear a cellar, and in tier 2 you need to clear 10 cellars, but because you already cleared a cellar in tier 1, it carries over to tier 2, so that's nice. And as you're just playing through the game naturally, you're going to be unlocking the higher tier stuff even though you haven't technically got access to it so as soon as you unlock it you're gonna have like part of it completed but yeah I overall my thoughts are it, it hasn't really excited me it's okay I don't think it's like oh my god this is so bad but I don't think oh my god it's so good uh, I'm probably gonna keep playing maybe with like friends and stuff but I, I'm not really fussed about completing the battle pass if there's other games we want to play I'll probably go play that I no, nothing's really grabbed me it, it hasn't in the first two hours it hasn't gone hey we're gonna give you a reason to play it's sort of like hey do you like and it's basically like I mean it's okay I guess but it's it's like nothing special but yeah Three months of of this kind of skills and builds. Do you do you want to play? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I I'm just not overly grabbed by it. I've been kind of bored of Diablo for a couple of weeks now. Again, it just feels so samey, and this hasn't really done it for me to make me go oh yeah I want to hop back in and play maybe I just went too in too, too all in very early on and then kind of was just like I'm, I'm I'm getting bored now I'm just gonna take a break and hopefully the new season does something different hey there's world bosses on tier one now that's cool I guess I guess in conclusion, I'm not overly disappointed, I'm just not overly excited. I'm kind of just flat out in the middle, which is probably one of the worst things you can do, because it's it, I'm, it's not going to be at the forefront of my mind. I, you, like, oh, but you've already slightly invested in this battle pass. I mean, if all the other battle passes are going to be similar to this one, I don't think I'll ever just get. I don't think I'm ever gonna get a battle pass, you know. Oh, 
that even in this one of the seasonal quests is basically go use the transmog uh all your items and it's like trying to encourage you to hey think about your cosmetics and some players are going to be like that obviously but other players are just gonna no not really too fast and i think some of the base uh or legendary items you get are pretty have pretty cool cosmetics and like i really love my necro one and um you know, this <laughs> battle pass doesn't look nearly as good as I think as my Necro yeah. that I did cut from the base game. So, yeah, I, I probably, I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm going to keep playing. I'm not saying I'm going to quit. I'm just going to, if I feel like it, I'll feel like it. But let me know what you think of this season in the comment section down below. Yeah. You haven't really grabbed us, Blizzard. Goodbye. Morse. Marvelous. Together on the track. Let's go. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, sus.